Hello New Year's Taste Buddies, welcome to another YouTube video. On today's video, we will be making Moi Moi. Moi Moi is a budget friendly and very easy dish to make. For today's recipe, we will be making use of banana leaves, popularly known as Moi Moi leaf and also in a dish as an alternative. In making our Moi Moi, we will be needing washed peeled beans, a mixture of peppers which include tatashe shombo and red scotch bonnet peppers also we'll be needing onions we'll proceed now to blending into our blender we'll put in our washed peeled beans after that we we'll add our bell washed peppers you know our scotch bonnets tatashi and shombo then we'll add our onions add a bit of water for easy blend and we'll blend ensure to blend in batches so you don't overwork your blender Butter for the momo needs to be very soft, so you take your time and blend it properly, most preferably on high speed. As you can see, we have a smooth and well blended butter. Just take a look at that beauty. Nice, right? <laughs> anyway, over here, we don't waste, so you add a bit of water to your blender and you rinse out the leftover butter. Now that's more like it. Next step is to mix our bacta properly to incorporate some air into it. You know, just like you do a cake. For me, I think Momoi should be the real bean cake and not Akara. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Anyway, proceeding with our recipe, we'll add our no maki cube into our batter and then we'll mix. The next step now is to add oil, not so much oil. After adding our oil, we then mix again. <laughs> yes, I you know there's a lot of mixing in this video. We then proceed to adding our crayfish into our moi moi butter. And guess what we'll do next? Yes, we'll mix. <laughs> After mixing, we'll add a bit of hot water. Not very hot water, but just a bit hot water. And then you mix. You will proceed to adding a bit of salt just to your preference and you proceed to mix. At this point, you check your butter to find out if it's what you want. Some people prefer very soft momoi. If you prefer very soft momoi, you add more water. But if you prefer a thicker consistency, then you just leave it this way and you don't add so much water. You ensure you take your time to mix it properly. Our momoi butter is basically ready. Now we can proceed to prepping our moe moe fillings. We'll be making use of egg and fish because over here we like enjoyment. <laughs> Next stop is wrapping our moe moe. This will be like a mini tutorial in this video. We'll start with our already cleaned banana leaves aka moe moe leaves. We'll be making use of two. We'll pinch the first side towards the right, the second side towards the left and wrap it towards the back as you can see in the video. Make sure it's properly secured. You can see I'm making sure the back is secured and I'm showing you. Then just by a quarter, add it down. You bend it and break the stem. Still making sure it's secured. Oops, I almost missed it there. But it's properly secured as you can see. And now we'll make sure that there's a pocket inside. You know, enough space to take our butter. After which, we'll scoop a bit of butter. You don't put too much because we don't want it pouring out. Just put as much as you can into this, the pocket that has been created. Add your egg or your fish. Then you pinch one side in, pinch the other side in, and turn it backwards. Congratulations, you have wrapped your moe moe leaf. Next, we'll also do it in our dish. Scoop a bit of butter in it. Put your egg and you put your fish. Enjoyment. Yeah, that's it. I felt it was too small, so I just added a bit of, you know, more, more butter to it. And then for the dish, you cover it with a foil paper, you know, to secure it so that the steam can boil it properly. We're done. We'll go to our pot, add some stem into a pot of water, add some banana leaves into it. And start arranging our beautiful moe moe leaves inside. 
be very careful we don't want anyone spilling out so we're done oh we almost forgot our dish yes we need to boil that too you put that in and you cover it and you let it boil for at least 30 minutes depending on your heat and guess what guys guess what our moi moi is ready oh let's open it yes it's ready if you want a thicker consistency you know you want it thicker you can let it cool off for some time before you open it but as you can see this is already ready the taste was heavenly like it was just so nice the texture was soft it was nice and it was affordable very easy and affordable as you can see i went in for a second spoon <laughs> yes so nice complete without his elder brother Ijebugari. Yes, a mixture of this moe moe and Ijebugari gives you a taste that brings back memories of Saturday afternoons in Africa. You know, it's almost a tradition to eat moe moe and gari after a long day's job. I can assure you, this meal was a total delight and you definitely need to recreate it. To recreate this recipe, you can shop for all the items used on our website at knees.co.uk also if you're a new subscriber to this page kindly turn on the notification bell so you get notified each time we post yummy recipes just like this remember to like share and subscribe thanks for watching guys see you on our next video bye Mwah.